Welcome back to our Beach YouTube channel. Today, class, we are going to be learning how to make this beautiful skirt that we see here. It's a pencil skirt with pleated frill design at the hem. It's very simple to make and it's really beautiful. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this skirt, I'm combining these two fabric. This plane is going to be the main bodies. And I'm going to use this other fabric to make the gathers that we have around it. So I have folded my skirt just like this. My zipper is going to be at the back. That's why you have an extension there for my zipper allowance. Okay. So this is going to be my waistline or my skirt band where I'm going to place my skirt. So my skirt band is actually placed around a little below the around the belly button area it's like a high waist skirt so from there i'm going to mark my hip line you don't actually need your hip line because it's not going to be fitted on the hip or i'm just marking it as a guide okay and then i want the full length where the frill stops to be around 15 inches including allowance so this is what i'm this is my waist where i'm placing the skirt this is the hip line and this is the full length where it stops where this plane stops before i had the plate okay so now on my waistline i'm going to take my waist measurement so the rust round waist measurement that i'm working with is 31 inches so 31 divided by 4 is going to give me about sorry it's 7.75 so now this is the center fold so from there i'm going to mark the 7.75 here if you want to have that on your skirt you can place it your that allowance there but i don't want that for this so i'm not going to be placing any that allowance on my skirt so i'm just going to go ahead and mark one and a half inches for my seam allowance so after that the next measurements that you're going to need is where you want the plane to stop on your side that's why i said i want to use my hip line as a guide so from my hip line i can go like three inches above my hip line okay three to four inches is fine so if i go three inches above my hip line i'm going to have around five inches okay so i can just go ahead and add one half an inch seam allowance to make it five and a half okay so on that point i'm going to just extend my hip line measurement so that i can get that hip curve to know where this stops so my hip is 38 38 divided by 4 is 9.5 so there again i'm going to mark my 9.5 and then i'm going to add my seam allowance to that so using my curve ruler i'm going to connect from my waist to my hip to get my hip curve so now you can see i know where this line stops so that's why i said the hip line is just going to serve as a guide for you so now from here what you just need to do is to take your straight ruler and then you connect all the way to the hem of this case to form your v-shape so from here now i'm just going to connect like this and that is all you need so you can see it is very simple to make this case so here i'm just going to up to this point and then from there i'm going to connect to my waistline so this is the shape that i have now so here i'm just going to notch my zipper allowance okay i'll do the same thing for the hem so when you open it up this is what it looks like so what i'm going to do now is to just place this right side facing right side and then i'm going to take it to take it to the same machine and then i'm going to sew by my allowance so if you're adding that to yours this means you have to hold your dart on that area okay so 
so now after doing that what you want to do now is to measure the hem so i'm just going to measure one of it and then multiply by four remember we have two sides for front and two sides for back so i have 14 and a half inches multiplied by four is going to give me 58 inches okay so now depending on the amount of fabric that you have to work with or how full you want it to be this 58 inches you can multiply it by two two and a half or three inches if you want it to be really full and then that's the fabric you need to cut out from your pattern fabric to gather here and then the length of this is going to be what will make up your skirt remember we started measuring our length here and then we stop around 15 inches so my full skirt length okay so my full skirt length is 28 inches so now if you measure from the waistline now okay we stop at 15 inches here and we are still going to 28 inches which is here so you just need to deduct 15 from 28 and i have about 13 inches so that's going to be the length that i'm going to measure out for this fabric so the length is going to be 13 inches and then the width is going to be what i measured here which is 58 inches multiplied by two or three inches depending on what my fabric can take okay so i've gone ahead to join my skirt on this side we are going to fix lining to this you must have used the lining to turn it out by this time before you had the gather so this is what it looks like by the time you turn it out you can also fix your skirt zipper this is the zipper that i'm going to be working with so i'm going to fix my zipper to this and then close the excess that i have so you can do that first or you add your gathers first so for my gathers i have gone to cut out my fabric and i multiplied mine by two and a half inches and you can see that my fabric was short so i was joining them together to make up the length that i need and then you can see that my length now is around 13 inches that 13 and a half that's because i had it allowance for hemming and i've also hemmed it so i have 13 and a half inches by the time i use half an inch to sew it on this part i'll be left with my actual 13 inches so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and gather all of this to the tip of the skirt okay so i'm going to gather it all around to the tip of the skirt following the shape that i have okay so i have gathered the print on my skirt now i can see how beautiful it is looking this is the front and this is the back okay so on the back i have installed my zipper as well so i'll just go ahead and iron this down now so that it can lay well for me because i don't want it to be puffy and i'll weave the inner part remember i did not have any lining to this so now the next thing to do is to finish off this skirt on the waistline so you can either fix a band to yours or use your bias to turn it so i think i'm just going to fix my band to this just to make it neat i'll cut off the excess zipper and my skirt is ready so after doing all of this i'll take it to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like so I have added my, um, I, did, I decided not to add the band to it. I used a bias to turn it on the waist area and this is what it looks like. So you can see the basic skirt and this is the side of the skirt where we added our fruits. You can see how beautiful and simple this skirt looks. I hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me. If you enjoyed it, let us know in the comment section. And the tutorial on how I made this asymmetric blouse is also uploaded on the channel. You can check that out if you'd like to see a tutorial on it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.